Aniara, the epic poem by Harry Martinson, is about a spaceship called Aniara leaving Earth because of nuclear catastrophes. Something happens and it gets off course. They will not get to Mars, but they are headed towards the constellation Lyra forever. So the starting point is, of course, that we have the crossing, the best choir there is. They are the sun to this piece in some ways, you know, around which all of the other aspects of it orbit because we're a choir and we're not suddenly not becoming a choir to make a piece that's a theater piece. It's a choir theater piece. My goal has been to try to um, illuminate the text and illuminate uh, Martinson's story um, as told through Don Hendrickson's libretto, which is really fragments of um, Aniara itself. We chose Neighborhood House at Christ Church because it um, is a very long kind of alley theater. The whole plan is to, for it to be very immersive. We're going to do the stage setting so that the audience is sitting on both sides of the stage. So we kind of like started playing around with the idea of what we're going to do with the space in the room. And uh, we kind of ended up to using video projections on the floor. Last spring I want to go to Iceland and do some filming in there and it was like a the place is just fantastic. It's like volcanic rock everywhere and it's like ice and stone and lots of rain and snow and everything. And we're going to use the Icelandic drone material as a dystopic nature material, like footage on the, on the ground, which is going to be combined with these digital particles and all these kind of fantastic graphic elements. And we kind of like end up with these uh, visual elements with uh, kinetic lights, which are these kind of light tubes that are moving up and down during the performance, and the performers can be interactive with these uh, kinetic lights. When I started to think, like, what would they wear if you are just about to move into another planet? I think I tried to create something that it's a bit like timeless, it's a bit a mixture of Scandinavian. It will have something to do with the dance as a movement of the costumes. So my background, uh as a, as a dancer, choreographer, comes mostly from China, from traditional Chinese theater, Beijing opera. And in this production, I, we have talked with director Dan a lot that there's a, there's a connection between Aniara and Asian, Asian mythology and culture. So I'm going to use some ideas of Taoism, for example, very circular movements and sort of uh, martial arts based energy. So it's a space journey without an end, filled with human life striving to, to, to find a meaning or, or in, when there is no hope. The future of Earth is depending on us. But those are the issues that kind of drive me toward, I want to make a piece about Anyara, about on one hand, a spaceship that gets thrown off course and like heads out into eternity, right? And on the other hand, about people who um, are exactly like me and don't have any place to go. I think Aniara is uh, thematically timeless and universal. Um, some of the most important themes to me uh, have to do with our relationship to our planet with our relationship to one another on that planet, uh, with our relationship to art and to uh, faith. And I think those are, those are themes that are with us from birth to death and 25 years ago and 2,000 years ago and 25 years ahead. Love.